Welcome back. My name is Abhi and you are watching Colors of Light. Today we are going to do a painting which is long overdue and without further ado let's get started with it. First of all I am going to just cover the canvas with a liquid white which will help us doing wet on wet. <clears throat> Make sure you don't have too much of white, liquid white on it. So as you can see my easel is not very stable. Let's get this done, then I'll sort it out. <coughs> to make sure you don't have too much there, just a very thin layer of liquid white. Broader your brushes, easier it is. <coughs> easier and faster. I've got all my colors ready. All the colors ready, I'm going to write on the screen so you can check them out there. Let's get on with it. I'm going to take some of the blue. What well, Taylor blue and <clears throat> whichever other blue this is, make sure we have color nicely incorporated in the in the brush. And then we'll start with the sky first, of course. <clears throat> As you come to the center, you can go a bit crisscross strokes, crisscross. Don't be scared, just keep on going. <laughs> this looks like eyes. Crisscross, 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 crisscross. As you come to the center, the color is going to get lighter, which is fine. <laughs> so I think that should be enough. Now we need to get a bit of a water line. For that, I'm going to use a little bit green, combined together with these blues. Make sure your brush is completely immersed in the paint, both sides evenly. And yeah, for waterline, you need to do <coughs> come in from outside towards in. Don't be scared, keep on going. I'm gonna leave a little bit space in the middle. <coughs> need to make sure these are straight strokes because water is going to be straight. A bit in the middle you can leave, so that will be our light, or the reflection of light. And as Barbara says, to clean the brush, speed the devil out of it. I'm going to beat the devil out in a minute, not right now. <laughs> so. You might have noticed I'm working in garage and it's a bit cold today. And that's why my <coughs> voice is not the best. Excuse me for it and, 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 and. Beating the devil is not possible because there's too many things around me and that's gonna mess with, uh, the paint's gonna mess with them. So I'm not going to beat the devil today. Just going to use a new brush. Just very lightly go over the whole painting with a clean brush so that should even it out <coughs> excuse me so, I won't go too much otherwise I'm gonna lose these clouds oh, I think I have already lost them <coughs> A little devil can I, I can still beat. Ha. So, overbeating is not good. <laughs> what do we need now? We need some mountains, as usual. 
So for that we're going to use our palette knife. We'll take some of the Taylor blue, some of the other blue, da 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 da, bits of green. <coughs> Make a bit dark color. Make sure it's nicely <coughs> blended. And take that, <coughs> take a bit of that on the side. Then you add a little bit of white to that to make it a bit lighter because this mountain is gonna be at the back and the <coughs> for the back you are lighter it is. And as you come forward, it's going to get darker and darker. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's go a bit up high here. What you need to make sure is that this is completely <clears throat> incorporated in your canvas. Don't worry too much. A rough image of an of a mountain, maybe just a rough one. I'm not sure if you can see it properly because I can't because of the reflection from the back. The whole light is reflecting on it. You don't want too much paint on it. Let's not spend hours painting one. I'm gonna just take a brush I had before. Wow, this one still has a lot of turpentine. Not good. Um, I'm gonna have to beat the devil anyways. So, very lightly. Well, that wasn't light, but it works. I'm just going to pull that down. Ah, oh, very lightly. go across a bit <clears throat> that's going to give you an illusion of mist don't go across on the top that should give you an illusion of <clears throat> mist now what we need is a bit of highlight for snow I'm going to use <clears throat> white with a touch of blue which we made here before just a bit just a bit shouldn't be completely blue oh, I think I've taken too much yeah I've taken too much let's get it away as Bob said it's your painting you can do whatever you want I'm going to take more white here And there is already a little bit of blue in there, so I'm not going to worry. <coughs> you can probably see anyways. Very lightly. Very lightly. Very lightly. Straight down. Don't worry too much just keep in mind that <clears throat> where your light is coming from if it's coming from east or west and this one is coming from the east <clears throat> so most of the highlights are going to be on the east and the west will have its share of shadows Now the shadows we need for shadow I'll use the <clears throat> this a bit darker blue what I made yes before. 
by mistake. That's perfect for our shadows actually. I'm going to use that uh, for the shadows. Maybe, maybe I can use a bit more. Yeah. Shadows looks fine, isn't it? We need the big mountain, isn't it? This is the back, back, a big one. Now we need something in a bit front. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna make this color a bit more dark. The one which we used before, take a bit more Taylor blue, make it more dark. Maybe we can take a bit red. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. It's the cold. So, yes, 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 let's see. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I see the mistake I'm making. I'm being far too careful here. Far too careful. And I've got too much paint on my <clears throat> palette knife. That's... I don't like the two peaks. Nah, I don't like the two peaks. I'll make it one. I'll make it one. So that's going to be one peak. One big massive mountain coming down. So... So... So, and a small peak here, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, a uh, bit more smaller ones. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? As it comes, these are the foothills. So, um, <laughs> maybe these are too many. Let's do it. One. I guess I need to take too much paint off. Too much paint off. Do is maybe scrape it down a bit. So we go back to that white snow highlights. I'm gonna take more of white, mix it again with that little bit blue. Let's do the, let's leave it marble in it. Make a very thin line, very thin. You don't want too much paint up there. Let's start from here. Or should, should we start from here? Should we start from here? Yeah. It, doesn't seem to be working. You know why? I guess I need to scrape more. Here we're going a step back, just so you know. We're gonna have to do the misty thing again. That's all part of learning, isn't it? This is only the second painting we are doing here. It does look like a mess, but let's hope that it'll get fixed. Let's use the same brush we used before. Just make sure it's a bit dry. And going across. Make sure you don't touch the 
edges of the mountain. But don't worry too much because a lot of it is going to be just <clears throat> covered with the front foliage, trees and whatever comes next. So, back to white. Starting here and tilt your knife as you come across. Need to make sure that you don't press it too hard when you're making the snow <coughs> highlights because otherwise you don't get the in-between shadows. So. I guess that's enough snow, eh? So what do we need now? We need the shadow side. For the shadows, I'm gonna use this little bit darker color, which I have from before. Don't be scared, be brave, yes. Let's see, let's be brave. For every highlight you need a shadow. If you have 10 highlights you need 10 shadows. Mm. Let me know if I miss something. Sometimes I don't know how to hold the knife. That's why practice is so important. This one, so finished, not touching anymore, that's enough of mountain. <clears throat> what do we need now? So let's see what's next. What is next? We need some trees. Where should we start? First of all, let me see which brush. I'll use that one, fan brush. So for trees we need the dark color, dark color means green, blue, we can use this, some of these dark ones with the blue, oh uh, no, sorry, with the green. So just using them, using the same colors, making sure that it's green, not blue. I'm just taking some green, more of green. And the ones which I used before, just mixing them a lot, mixing them together. <coughs> Let's see how the trees come up. Let's start from the right. Don't be scared. So. I think I need more color, more, more, more. This has to be completely dipped. Don't be scared, just do it fast. That's exactly what I'm not doing. Let's see. Let's make it a bit. Mm, let's make a one bigger one. Should we? That was a bit of a. to the canvas, tap it onto the canvas. Yeah, keep on going, 
keep on going, keep on going. This tree, yeah, I can go a bit out. It's not a problem. It's half a tree in the canvas. That's no problem. That's not a problem. The reason I'm using it so dark because we're going to highlight the leaves later on. <clears throat> As you say, without dark, you can't highlight. Let's make another one, small one here. physics <clears throat> further things are smaller and closer things are bigger oh they look bigger should I continue messing them up well let's see one more maybe one more one last one here a small one just use a lot of paint down here because as you know we have a water underneath and water needs a bit of <coughs> reflection so don't be scared to put some just just so who cares well you should care but just for the moment it's okay so I'm just going to leave this <coughs> brush dirty I'm gonna use one old brush which is still dirty from before and very lightly starting from here we're going to make a few reflections and of course the reflections have to be <clears throat> higher the trees up there the longer the reflections will have to be there here I'm just going to use a bit more of this color which I used before so we have enough. You don't need to be scared, just keep on going. So, little, 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 little bit more, little bit more, 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 more. Bring it down, bring it down. So, we've got this covered and then just gently go across. Very gently. That's going to give you a illusion of reflection on the water <clears throat> so what do we need now what do we need what do we need what we can do now is i'm going to use a bit smaller <coughs> fan brush let's give these these trees a bit highlight so i'm going to use some blue and yellow that will give us green are these hairs they are coming too much so <clears throat> are we going to give these trees a bit of highlights I guess I need a bit more of yellow Just go through so. Remember your light is coming from east. So eastern part of the trees have to be lighter. Since this is all part of reflection as well, it's going to be 
I'm going to just mess it up a bit so and then come with the same brush as before very lightly gently 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 remember what's above should be in the reflections gently go across very gently so <coughs> Now what we can have is a bit of, we can have some bushes there, can't we? You know what, let's make a <coughs> big one here on this side. So we'll take the same dark colors, take a lot of them, sap green, dark blues, mix them up all. Uh, I'll take some of this brown burnt umber or what, which one was this? No idea. Anyways, all you need is dark greenish color. Just push it in. Push it. Push it. Take more color. Push it. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Just keep on going. Uh, maybe that's far enough, I guess. Uh, a bit here. Bit darker, darker, darker. Yeah, this is enough so far. good <clears throat> let's see what comes up here so, I'm going to leave this like this for the moment now <clears throat> what we need to do is background set yep we can make a ghost in it both sides now here we need a reflection as well let's make the reflection first let's do that let's do that first And what we need to do, go gently across, gently across, yep, very gently. Now what we need is ghost. So we'll take this dark brown, let's mix it a bit, a little bit. Where should we have it? Because why do I not want to be scared? Because I can always cover it up. I'm gonna take some of the lighter brown one, a bit white, mix them, not completely, but just marble. And so, just like this, just like this. So we cover it up. Remember, these are just stones or mud or whatever. They are not perfect or symmetrical. And this area, I don't need to be worried because I'm going to cover that up as well. On this side, we need to go a bit opposite, innit? Because that one is going that way. That one's going that way. As before, a bit white, a bit brown. And here also we need a bit of reflection.
What's above has to be down. Important. Hello. Hello. He's too thick, but. <laughs> That's Marcus. <coughs> He's my brother in law. <laughs> Show your face. Say dein Gesicht. Hello. He just came back from skiing. He went skiing and I'm painting. <laughs> Yeah, <clears throat> guess to S another way. So now what we need is highlights here. We need some bushes here maybe. Yeah, let's see. Which brush should I use? I think I'm gonna use that one inch. Yeah, that's the one inch one. I'm gonna use the same green and a bit more of yellow. If you see, I'm just using straight here, so do not <coughs> get the color come up too deep. Just so, just so. On one side. And then turn it upside down. Let's see here. Just press it, press it. I guess I'm gonna use a little bit of red. Give it a bit color. Give it a bit color. Why not? Then again, you need to be very careful. Look at the mess I've just made. Let's see, let's see what I get. Press it down, press it, press it, press it, press it, press it, press it. I think I've gone about it the wrong way. I should have made the land later and bushes first. But hey, you can always correct your mistakes. Any? I think I'm going to use just yellow. You know what? I'm going to scrape that all off. Looks like a mess. Yep, I don't like it. So I scrape it off. Simple as that. That's my painting. I do as I like. <clears throat> Just like in your painting, you can do as you like. I don't like it. I scrape it off. Simple. So let's see. More of this color. Yep. And I'm going to get very tiny bit of blue in there, tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit, so tiny, so tiny, same technique, no change in technique, but this time I'm gonna get a bit, no red in there, this time no red, turn around, mm, you need the color on the brush, you can't go on without color. So. I can do a bit, go a bit down. Let's see here. Bring a few bushes down here, maybe. What we can do, the bushes enough. 
I guess, I guess they're maybe a bit cleaner. Jack, Jack. So what we need is, tell me what you need. Reflections, right, right. So, reflection, reflection of the bushes as well. And then across, gently across. What we need now, <coughs> here. Should we use that brush? Should we use that one? Nah, let's see. Let's use this brush. Let's see how it goes. We can experiment. We have time. Or maybe not. Oh yes. I like this brush. <sighs> it has taken me a long time. And in this cold, the battery goes out very easily. <clears throat> the battery of my camera. That camera's battery is finished. That one's about to finish. I guess I'm going to have to leave it at this stage. It's snowing outside. Wow. And I'm really cold. I need to get inside, eat something. I'll come back again. <clears throat> yes, yeah. And I don't feel like leaving it actually. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny I don't feel like leaving it. But yeah, I'll have to leave it for the moment. In a minute. See you soon. Uh, after the break, I'm going back to paint. It has been snowing. <clears throat> it has been snowing in the middle. Let's see how it is. It's got a bit darker. I'll have to turn the lights on. Mm. <clears throat> so I hope. Yep. So we are back from the break. I had to adjust the camera settings a little bit because it's dark outside and I had to turn the lights on here, which which was reflecting on the camera. So I need to change the angle. <clears throat> well, let's carry on where we finished. That was finished. Now we need to add a few more things. Um, as you can, might notice, I've got one, um, an example from the Paul Ross video. And that's what I'm copying here. Of course, not exactly the same, but yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm going to carry on doing this. One more thing. I've already made a few mistakes here, which I'm not going to correct anymore. I realized that while eating. If you've noticed what mistakes I've made, Write them on the comments. Uh, let's see if you can catch it. If you've seen any Bob Ross videos, you will probably recognize. Uh, let's carry on with it. Next, <clears throat> we need to make here stock. Stock for this big massive tree. So where should we do it? Uh, maybe, maybe standing here will help. I don't know if you can see, can you? Yeah? Ah, that's okay, that's okay. So it's okay. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Let's put a bit of highlight into it. Well, from this side maybe, because the sun, as we said before, is coming from east. I'm going to make it a bit thick. So, well, maybe, maybe, maybe one more. Maybe a bit here. Coming out like this. I'm going to put some bushes down here. I know I said I won't take red but I'll probably take a bit of it. Here, take a bit yellow, mix it with red. Without the green though, a bit of yellow and red and need to press it hard 
press it hard and yeah, the color gets very soon dirty so need a bit of um, what do you call it? reflection again for the reflection I'll use the same <coughs> brush which I used before and lightly go around across now we need waterline for that we're going to use some of the liquid white we'll take some liquid white I'm going to add just on top of this white here and then we start from here make sure this is straight make sure this is straight because water water doesn't flow <coughs> tilted it doesn't flow tilted sorry for the pauses in my voice because I'm not really feeling very good right now that's the water line on the right side then let's go with the water line here can have a few ripples as well mm. As I said, it has to be straight. I am not doing a very good job at that here. You can have maybe, maybe someone threw a, threw a stone in the water. Hmm. I'll leave it at that, not messing it up too much. Let's put up a, a tree here. Right now. <coughs> Tilted. That's the dark brown color, whichever it was. You'll see it when you have it. Now, you've got to give it some highlight. I'm going to use some of the white, titanium white as it's called, lightly come across. Now what we need is probably a few small <coughs> stalks running here and there. I'm going to use the same dark color. I'm using that very thin brush for this, pencil thin. I'm just thinning the color down. Let's start here. need to keep thinning, keep <coughs> taking color. It's not as easy as it looks on the videos, you see. <laughs> because getting a natural, <coughs> getting a natural tree shape is not so easy. Probably should have been a bit thinner. Maybe next time. <clears throat> so now it looks a bit weird because it seems to grow out of nowhere. So we need to sort that out. How can we do that? Yeah, you guessed it right. We'll put some more foliage. For that, we're going to use again that dirty brush, which we had before we used for the darker things. There's still enough paint, but I'm still going to take more let's use all the this brown which I have blues browns everything together just <clears throat> I'm just going to push it in here I'm 
Let me push it all in. Remember, if you don't have dark areas, you can't really highlight it. You need to have dark. So, there we are. Now we need to highlight the stuff. I'm going to get a bit brave now. I'm going to use that brush. That's uh, one and a half inch. I will use a bit of ochre. Why not? A bit of ochre. A bit yellow. Let's see how it turns out. Starting from here. Easels not behaving itself, eh? Let's see. Does it look okay? Well, it's fine for me. Should we just finish it there? Because the more I carry on, the more it's going to get messed up. Hmm? Let's just finish it there. I'm all right with it. We'll improve on the next one. We'll just leave it at this. So, as you can see, we have still a lot of room for improvement. If you like this kind of videos, please give us a like, subscribe and share. And I'll come up with different types of videos. I mean, it's not bound only to paintings. I do a lot of different kinds of videos. So please do subscribe and don't forget to watch. Till next time, ta-da.